Welcome back to Pokemon Emerald. Last time we got over here, if I can access the map, we got over here to La uh, Fall Arbor Town, and I came back over to Route 113 because I got enough uh, soot for the item. Have you collected ashes, Huff Puff? Let me see them, Huff Puff. Oh, you've got a lot of ashes, Huff Puff. I'll make you a nice glass item, Huff Puff. Which would you like? Uh, all right, so all of these flutes do different things. Uh, I don't remember what all of them are, but I know yellow is, uh, if you use it, you can cure confusion, and red is in curing infatuation. Uh, the white flute is, was it the white flute or the black flute? One of these increases, uh, the rate Pokemon uh, a attack at, like wild Pokemon, like increases uh, encounter rate. There we go, that's the word. Uh, yeah, one of these increases encounter rate and one of them decreases them. I do not remember which one is which, but one of them does one, one of them does the other. I have no idea what the blue flute does though. And I think we only have enough for the blue flute, so let's get it. A blue flute, Huff Puff. Is that the one you for you? Yeah. A blue flute it is, Huff Puff. Okay, I'll make it for you, Huff Puff. Just wait a little bit while, Huff Puff. Ah, I've finished your blue flute. Take it, Huff Puff. Now, I do not remember. Wait a minute, is this sleep? Hold up. Let me see. Yeah, it awakes a sleeping Pokemon. And it's unlimited use, so... Uh, yeah, that's good. You can just use it whenever you want to wake, wake up your Pokemon, which is awesome. Uh, now, I did fight a couple of the trainers on this route, but not too many. But it was enough to level up Choo Choo up to level 27, so he's taking a little bit of a break. Meanwhile, Shriek can have some battles. Boom. Cool. Sneak past them because I didn't battle them. Uh, okay, now there's not a lot left to Fall Arbor Town other than this battle tent. Uh, I think I'm gonna save that for later though, to be honest. I'm, I'm not super feeling doing the battle tents right now because I already did one not too long ago. It was a few episodes ago, but it was still semi-recent, so I'll save that for later. See? Uh, take a look. This is my precious Azuril. It's slick and smooth and plushy, too. Cool. I like Azuril. Have you already challenged Flannery, the leader of the Lava Rage Gym? The girl's grandfather was famous. He was one of the Elite Four in the Pokemon League at one point. It wouldn't surprise me to see Flannery become a great trainer in her own right. Oh, we have not been to Lava Ridge Town yet. Hopefully we can get there soon. Professor Cosmo went off to the Meteor Falls on Route 114 with some people from Team Magma. Team Magma. Hmm. Hmm. What do you say? Something's happening, and I don't like it. I've seen shady characters wandering in and out of Professor Cosmo's home. Oh. Is, is this his home? No, this is the Move Tutor. New moves taught to Pokemon. Hello, sir. I'm the Move Tutor. I know all about the moves that Pokemon can learn. Every one of them. And I can teach Pokemon those moves. I can teach a Pokemon to... I can teach a move to a Pokemon of yours if you like. I'll do it for a hot scale. Uh, yeah, I don't have any of those, sir. But thanks for the thought. Uh, so yeah, there's not a lot to do in Fall Arbor other than the battle tent. And really, I don't think I should be talking to anyone in there if I'm not doing the battle tent, so I'll, I'll save the rest of Fall Arbor for later because really there's not a lot here. It's just a small little town with a Pokemart, a Pokemon Center, and the battle tent. I guess the move tutor, but really that's it. 114. Fossil Maniac's house. Fossils gratefully accepted. Okay, let's see what this is all about. Hey, kid. My big brother's the Fossil Maniac. He's a nice guy who loves fossils. 
He loves digging holes, too. He dug this hole all by himself. You can have this, so you can dig holes just like my big brother. Oh, sick! Awesome! Okay, cool. Sir? Wow, this is a big hole for him to be digging all by himself. I'm the fossil maniac. I'm a nice guy who loves fossils. You want a fossil? But the fossils around here, all these parts, are be uh, belong to me. None for you. If you can't bear to go without a fossil, look in the desert where there are boulders and sand that may hide fossils. Uh. Okay, Mr. Creep who likes digging holes in the wall. Bye. <laughs> Although that is a nice tip about fossils, finding them in the desert. I like to fish, but I also like to battle. If anyone challenges me, I'm there even when I'm fishing. Okay. Barboats! Oh. Okay, so I was going to use Shockwave because, oh, Fisherman, he uses a fish. It's a water type. But no, Barboats is part ground, so Shockwave is not going to cut it. So, secret power. Now, secret power in battle uh, actually has something neat. It's, uh, depending on what kind of, like, where the battle takes place, it's a different move. So, this one is emulating, like, slam or something. And, uh, depending on what move it's emulating, it'll have different status afflictions. So that one, I believe, has the potential to paralyze? I think. I like to battle, but it doesn't mean I'm good at it. I just thought I'd mention that little tidbit about, uh, secret power. Yeah, uh, an effect with, uh, uh, bleh, bleh. an attack with effects that vary by location. So yeah, we'll be seeing different effects depending on where we use secret power hello sir all my pokemon does is roar nobody dares to come near me uh, if you would please take this tm away tm05 what is tm05 contains roar a roar sends pokemon scurry uh, boy roar one of my least favorite moves because A, it's annoying when Pokemon use it, and B, it's not use it's not that useful in battles. Like it just it just switches like okay, when you're in a wild battle and a Pokemon uses it, it just ends the wild battle. But if you're in a trainer battle, then it forces the opponent to switch their Pokemon. It's not that good. <laughs> I'm just not a fan. Maybe I've just been burned by it too much. Oh, there are so many trainers on these routes. Like, holy. And I, honestly, I'm just trying to save some of these trainers for later because I'm... <sighs> my main three Pokemon right now are pretty high level compared to where they're supposed to be. And I'm just trying to save this experience and money for when I need it for Pokemon that I'm planning to catch. Lombre! But, there is a, a flip side to all of this. There is another Pokemon that I'm looking to catch in this route. Well, it's not Swablu, but... <laughs> Swablu is pretty cute, and it uh, it's not a bad Pokemon to have, anyways. Now, if I, I can run into the right Pokemon, although it is rarer in Pokemon Emerald compared to the other games that it appears in. Although not as rare as one of the other Pokemon on this route. Because there... I believe you can run into Nuzleaf on this route as well as Lombre. However, it's not that common. 
Oh, wow. Okay. Speaking of Nuzleaf, I, th I thought it was like a either a 1% chance or like a 5% chance. Dang, I'm going to catch it just because, well, it's rare. This isn't the Pokemon that I'm looking for, though. Um. Uh, uh, just don't knock it out, please. Heck. Dang it, Shriek, you're too strong. That's why I was trying to use Shockwave first. We're gonna be a bit, uh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna be here a bit, so, uh, should I just cut to when we find it? What? Oh, hi, the, uh, May, this is Abigail. Listen, listen, you have to hear this. I had a Pokemon battle, but I lost. Oh, it burns me up. Why are you calling me about this? This is very trivial information. I do not need to know that information. You should, you, you should be spending this time training up your Pokemon instead of calling up random people and saying, Oh, I lost. Oh, no. Seriously. Here it is. Found it. It's the Viper. Now, I need to be careful not to knock this thing out. Now, this thing is a snake. Oh, that's the worst place for it to be at. Astonish? Uh, it might be able to take another Astonish, unless it gets a critical hit. Hmm. I'll try a Premier Ball. I'm not certain that it'll be able to be caught right now. It's yellow health. Not even one shake. Okay, hmm. Come on, catch, catch, catch. One, two. Oh, no, I want to catch it in a special Pokeball. Heck, and Rap is not doing me any favors. Uh, I'll try the repeat ball. I have no confidence because it's meant to be used on Pokemon that you've caught before, yeah. Which, what's even the point? I mean, un unless you want a, uh, a Pokemon of like the opposite gender or something, or maybe you want like a specific nature, you might want to use the repeat ball, but otherwise it's not that useful. Because generally, if you're catching a Pokemon, you've already caught that species before. Heck, stay in the Pokeball. Do I have any Pokemon that can inflict, uh, inflict status afflictions? No, I still have this Rolf from way back then. Dang. Uh, just try a great ball. One, two, uh, not even two. Ha! Yo, get wrecked. Okay. Uh, I'll try Astonish. If you get a critical hit, I'm gonna be. Are you kidding me? Oh, uh, why did I say it? Why? Why did I have to say that? Come on, game. Oh, it took me forever to mine that, that Sviper. Man, gonna have to find another one now. Lumber. Why are you in my face, Lumber? Get out of my face, Lumber. Here we go. Here's another one. Oh, it's female. That's different. All right, let's try this again. Uh, one secret power. 
Just please don't knock it out. Okay, that's perfect. Don't do any more damage to it. That's actually perfection. Let's try this again with another Premier Ball. Maybe catch it. It would be nice to get in a special Pokeball. Uh. Okay. So that's going to be how it is, huh? Please catch, please catch, please catch. One, two, three. Oh, oh no! I want it in the special Pokeball! Uh, one of these days I'll have a Pokemon in a Premier Ball. But today is not that day, unfortunately. I just want to catch it now. <sighs> Three of my Pokemon are already in regular Pokeballs, so uh, uh, even just uh, having it in a, a Great Ball will be different. Hey, there we go! Viper's data was added to the Pokedex. Saviper, the long, uh, the Fang Snake Pokemon. Saviper and Zangoose are eternal rivals. It counters a Zangoose's dazzling agility with its sword-like tail, it which also oozes like a horrible poison. Hmm. What's snake like? All right, for now, this is going to be its name. This is not its permanent name, but for now, this is the best I can come up with. Snack. Well, now we have to go back and get the thing out of the PC. <sighs> well, now that... Are you kidding me? Hi, I'm May. It's Benjamin catching any Pokemon lately. Yeah, I just caught a Saviper that I'm going back to get out of the PC. A little while ago, I came close to kidnapping one, but it got loose. Right, take care. Okay, what was what I was going to say was, now that we caught the dang Pokemon, we can use uh, the Repel in the grass. Well, yeah. <laughs> Now, now I'm just gonna get snack out of the PC. I wonder what Pokemon looked like long ago. Oh, did I already talk to you? Maybe. I don't even know at this point. All right, you. You're gonna be in our party now. Get out of here, Ralts. You're done. You're done, I tells you. Wait. Okay, never mind. I, <laughs> I mistook one Pokemon for a different Pokemon. Anyways, uh. Yeah, let's switch her to the front of the party. So, Saviper is a poison type. It has shed skin, which is actually great for status afflictions. Which I do like, and its attack isn't bad at all either. If we take a look at its attack, 41 attack? Uh, and it's 10 levels lower than Torkoal, who is our highest attacker. So yeah, that's not bad attack at all, considering it's 10 levels lower. So with enough time and effort, it will be the highest attacking party member for now. And I don't think its speed is bad either. Let me just take another look. 28 speed, uh, actually that is kind of bad. It's better than Torkoal, but that's comparing a snake to a tortoise, so uh, yeah. Anyways, welcome to the party, Snack. Once again, that is not its permanent name. Whenever I come up with a better name, I'll go back to Name Raider and change her name. Uh, let's see how she does in battle. I need to exercise after a meal. Let's have a match. Okay, kid. But be warned, I have a snake. And it has large fangs. And a sword tail. Man, if this was Gen 6, then... 
Viper would have the advantage because Meryl would be fairy type. But because it's not, it's like neutral. Anyway, Poison Tail. Poison Tail is its uh, signature ability because, well, it's poisonous tail. Man, look at that. That sharp sword tail. Like, holy moly, that's awesome. Now, if I could poison this Meryl, that would be cool. But it's not going to happen. Now, I'm going to be using Snack for uh, a little while until she's caught up to the other levels. And that may not take that long because it didn't take long for Choo Choo to catch up. Hey! Speaking of leveling up, heck yeah. Oh no! Oh yes. Alright, and that's that's the Pokemon I wanted to catch on this route, so I'm I'm gonna put up repels after this battle. Although this would be good for experience. Well actually it wouldn't be that good because it's not a trainer battle. Anyways, yeah, uh, where's... Oh, right, off-screen I bought a ton of Super Repels because they sell Super Repels at Full Arbor. Although they don't sell regular Repels, which, I mean, it's not that weird, but it's like, oh, that's a little surprising. Uh, this is Lynette's house, by the way. It, it says so on here. Lynette's house! 